Zone. Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Ince. Brought to you by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. Welcome into the Bison Football Show with Coach Ince. I'm Sam Niederman recapping NDSU's loss here against UND in Grand Forks. 49-24 to the final. And Coach Ince, tough result this well, afternoon. What went wrong for you and your team? Well, you know, just first 13 seconds of the game, giving up a kick ret- kickoff return for a touchdown. Not a way you want to start against a good football team. And then, you know, we had a, another miscue on special teams and put ourselves behind, you know, 21 to nothing, you know, quickly or 21-7. Uh, offensively, we did some nice things at different times, um, you know, but we couldn't win the, the turnover battle and just found ourselves in a huge hole again. Coach, what can you take away from this type of result to try and turn it into a positive moving forward the rest of the way? Well, we definitely know all the things that we need to continue to improve at, and there's no denying that, or you can't avoid that when you watch film and watch today. I mean, it's, you know, it, it, the, the proof is in the, in the resumes of your film today, and the resumes, the, the things you put on, on the grass, and so we need to, we need to get back to work and, and, and find some solutions. After the game, Coach, your message to the team as you guys look to turn the page here. Well, there's one of two ways you can go. You can play the victim, or you can say, "Man, I love this moment, and I love this opportunity, and I and I love the guys I'm here with." And you know, and, and we can flip it and and, and go one and zero next week. Um, you know, that's kind of the message, or, or my message that I conveyed is that there's one of two ways to go. There's no sitting on the fence right now. Absolutely. Let's take a look at first half highlights presented by Gate City Bank for the state's best football game, and away we go with Bison football on WDAY. Nearly three minutes gone in the first as a second down and seven as Miller wants to throw. Scrambling now, looking for his guy in Mathis who reaches up and catches it. Takes a shot from Mullen, but it's good enough for a Bison first down. We mentioned Mathis off his career performance last week from the 30. It's a second down. Miller will keep it. Excuse me, that's Cole Payton into the game for the first time. And he learns forward and gets to the 26. Bison trying to respond. Miller, look at the room for Cam Miller. He's going to cut back. It's a touchdown. North Dakota State. Miller, sixth touchdown against the Fighting Hawks in the last two games. Dakota. Miller, flushed, gets away from it. Still on his feet now, floats it, and Mathis is wide open. Zach Mathis down the sideline, makes a cut, still on his feet, all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Up. And that one is pure from Kroos, who continues to deliver out of the kick. Low snap again. Schuster, and down he goes. They brought the heat. Cavan in there for a sack. Fargo Shanley zone. He said he wanted to come back for an extra year. Miller floats this one. Green goes up and catches it. He's out of bounds. And he's got a first down out to the 45-yard line to gain a 16 for Eli Green. Mathis, Lippy, and Green out there. Miller looking that way. Now he's going to go deep. Trying for Green. Did he catch that one? He did. What a catch from Eli Green inside the 15. All the way down the market with the 14-yard line. Second down and eight. Miller with time. Now under pressure. He'll take it himself. Nearly fell down there. He's going to scamper to the eight-yard line. It'll be a gain of four. It'll be a third down and four. six minutes remaining in the first half. Tamaric Williams trying to stretch out. No signal. They're going to mark him down at the one. Yeah, I think just short, Dom. And they bring in Truman Weremeyer as well. Back. Now he'll throw. Touchdown, North Dakota State. Joe Stuffel in the end zone. What an absolute roller coaster of a drive that started with a fumble. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at our first half stats presented by Nodak Insurance. And coach, your team found itself down 28-17 at the break. It was 21-7 after one quarter of play. 
had an advantage there in possession, but obviously with that opening kickoff, that was a big difference maker going to the locker room. Well, it was, and then the, the block punt as well. Uh, all of a sudden, they have the ball in the high red zone, and um, you know, just a just a. a a, a, a disappointing start to the game. Uh, offensively, we moved the ball well. Uh, had an opportunity late in the in the in the second quarter, kind of that middle eight area. If we get a stop, who knows what it might look like? Um, but you know, we we couldn't, and they scored right before the half. You mentioned the two special teams plays, coach. What led to the miscues there on those? Uh, you know, I got to go back and it just we need we need a coach with more detail, and 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 we got to be better um, schematically. 10 unanswered after they had it at 21 to 7 got back into it 21 to 17 uh, but UND able to put together a drive there going into the locker room what allowed them to move the football today well you know we, we weren't very good on second down uh, we, we, we struggled to keep them off schedule I thought we did a decent job on first down we we're in a lot of second and longs uh, and then all of a sudden we found ourselves in third and short um, and, and just they were able to stay on the field they were able to convert those short third downs um, and just, you know, we, we did not play as well as I anticipated. Uh, I thought we, you know, had, had a good plan. Uh, but at the end of the day, you still got to execute. You still got to play with great effort. Let's take a look at our second half highlights presented by Gate City Bank when we come back here on the Bison Football Show. Teamwork. Talent. Dedication. Leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gate City Bank. Hi, I'm Dr. Arden Beachy, Medical Director at Swanson Hyperbarics and former Bison quarterback. We all know that injuries are part of the game. We treat concussions, ankle sprains, and everything in between. Our goal is to safely return athletes back to the action and have them performing at their best. Whether it's hyperbaric oxygen therapy, the ozone hocket, or magnetic therapy, our technologies will reduce inflammation quickly and speed up the healing process. Call Swanson Hyperbarics today and find out how we can help you. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot or the first retrieve. The entire off-seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. I want to do everything to the best of my ability. Travel! My bad. On the court and on the road. If I make a mistake, I want to know. Lane violation. And when I'm at my best, I want to see the rewards. That's why I signed up for the Drive for Less program with NODAC Insurance. I drive safely so I could save up to 30% on my insurance premium. Driving safe and saving money? That's a good call. Download the NODAC Insurance app today. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. 
All righty, back here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz and Coach looking at the second half of the game. Yep. Your team received the second half kickoff, trailing 28-17, put a drive together, got down inside the 30-yard line, but unfortunately had a turnover there, and yep. that really kind of gave them the momentum back. Yeah, tried to tried to hit kind of a stutter go, a little bit, you know, double move right there. And, um, they, they were playing some deep coverage, and, and, you know, the corner made a great play on it, and all of a sudden then flipped the field on us, and all of a sudden now we were in their red zone. Coach, uh, coming out of halftime, you knew you were going to get the ball to start the second half. What did you say to the team? Needed to start fast. Needed to needed to come away with some sort of points right there on that first drive, and and we, and we felt like we were on our way. I mean, offensively, minus the turnover, we, we played well at times. Um, still, you know, they were able to get pressure on our quarterback. Um, we, we just did not play to our standard. Coach, we talked before the game about the importance of establishing a ground game. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get that, I'm sure, as to the level as you anticipated today. What was the challenge in being able to run the football? Well, part of it is just the, the score of the game at different times. You know, you're you, you're trying to find ways to, to manufacture points quickly, and sometimes the run game isn't necessarily, you know, the the best way to do that and so probably you know we're forced a little bit because of our inability to to get stops early that we need to find ways to score on the flip side UND was able to establish a rushing attack with multiple players yep. you know, can you describe the the way that they were able to be effective in that yeah, area I just did a great job of getting hat on hat and, and, and moving people at the line of scrimmage and and uh, getting to the second level and getting people blocked and you know I think we had some plays where we were probably jumping out of gaps a little bit and not being just you know gap sound like we need to be or like we're like we're accustomed to let's take a look at our second half highlights presented by gate city bank josh yawn had that big tackle for und miller will throw now he'll evade pressure he's going to keep it and he'll scamper his way out to the 25 yard line they'll keep it on the ground for tk marshall tried to break through miller Again, time, but nobody open as he's going to run this. He'll get out back to almost the original line of scrimmage. And out of the timeout and a first down. Miller down the field. That one hauled in. Green with another reception. They'll mark him out. Not stopping to start the chains on first down. As they'll give it to TK Marshall. Marshall with some running room. And he'll get out. To the 43 yard line. Marking out of the 44. Seen him since early in the second quarter. A handoff here to Tameric Williams as he drives forward. You know, as we in this season. Peyton on a third down is flushed. He'll run here. They he actually gave enough for a first down to Tameric Williams and. Peyton is able to pick up 11 yards at a first down. We're, we flushed that one. We're moving on. Well, we thought that happened, yeah. frankly, last week as After TK Missouri Marshall State. gets the carry that the Bison came out at a, and a defense when you can play that well. Peyton will keep this. He'll get knocked out of bounds. Late penalty flag thrown here. Five minutes to go in this one. All fighting Hawks today. Peyton down the middle for Braylon Henderson who comes up with it. His longest catch of the season. Nice throw from Peyton as that gets down to the five yard line. It's third down and goal to go. Peyton will keep it, got tripped up. He gets back to the six yard line. It'll be four. Peyton zips to the end zone. Lippy caught for a touchdown. Second week in a row that Jake Lippy will find the end zone. They'll get it back here as Cava will come in, joined by Cop. Gang tackled there. All right, let's take a look at the final stats in this one presented by Nodak Insurance Company. And coach, at the end of the game, your team able to outgain UND, yeah. outpossess UND, but just wasn't enough today as you guys fall short. Felt too big a hole too early. And then just uh, weren't good enough defensively to get off the field. We knew that was going to be a critical element of the game is can we get the off, get the ball back to our offense you know, as many times as possible. Let's take a look at our player of the game, Eli Green, who caught up with Logan Campbell after the game. Eli, what made things so hard to get things going offensively today? Uh, I mean, it's a loud environment. We knew that um, coming in here. 
They get real excited for this game. They talk about it all year, all off season, and we knew we had to come out fast and come out with energy. And I just, I just don't think we brought it early enough. They got the momentum, and then we, we couldn't get caught back up. Couldn't get the momentum on our side, so we were struggling a little bit. How much did crowd noise have an effect in today's game? Uh, I mean, we, we practiced for it all week long, cranked up the noise. Um, so we were ready for it. Obviously, when, when you get there and it's in the moment, it's, it's a little tough, but we were ready for it. Um, I think we had one foul start, maybe. Uh, could be wrong, but uh, I think it was fine. We were, we were definitely ready for it. I just didn't think we could get things rolling offensively. Eli, how do you bounce back after this? I mean, stuff happens. Not everything goes your way. Um, you know, this, this team works very hard in the off season, in the season, and we're not we're not going to back down. We we go in, get get things figured out, offensively, defensively. We got to work hard going into next week. All right, thank you, Eli. Thank you, Logan. Coach Eli Green, a positive today. Four catches for 96 yards. Made some big plays. He did. Had a couple big third down conversions for us. Uh, you know, since probably the last quarter of 2022 season and this year, Eli has really stepped up and, 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 and you know, has done an excellent job for us. We need to continue to find ways to utilize him in different ways. How big is that for this offense, knowing you've got a guy that you can look to on third down, right. crucial situations? Well, I think we have a handful of guys. You know, Roger Nelson, Eli. Zach, uh, Jake Lippy, I mean, you know, Braylon Henderson. You know, there, there's some really good receivers out there that we can that, that we can find ways to get them the football. Um, we, you know, we, it's been an emphasis this year. We need to continue to to be multiple as much as we can, to make people defend the field. No doubt. When we come back, we've got more to come here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Hens. We will talk with senior defensive end Jake Cava. That's coming up next. Stick with us. Teamwork, talent dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, for a better way of life. Gates City Bank. Exclusively at Halberstadt's West Acres Mall, discover the largest selection of Johnston & Murphy menswear all on sale for 20% off the retail price. Known as the epitome of timeless craftsmanship, you'll love Johnston & Murphy's perfect blend of comfort and durability found in their shoes, clothing, and accessories. Complement your style with a new look from Johnston & Murphy. Elevate your wardrobe today. Visit Halberstadt's West Acres Mall for 20% off our massive Johnston & Murphy inventory. We're all players in the waiting game. Whether that's for the day's first flight, the first shot, or the first retrieve. Entire off seasons of prep and practice all pointed at that singular moment each of us live for. First light. Because that's when it all becomes real. And it's finally your time to shine. Shields. Get more local news and weather from the most watched news team in the region. WDAY News, weeknights at 4 and 5. Committed to being first on the scene for major local stories and bringing you straightforward facts every day. Plan for the night ahead at 4 p.m. with the weather impacting your area. With more easy to understand weather coverage at 5. Everything you need to know. Turn to the news leader, WDAY News. Welcome back to the Bison Football Show with Coach Enns. And this week's Olaf Anderson feature, Dom Izzo caught up with Bison defensive end Jake Cava. Growing up with this, and they didn't play, yeah. now you're a part of it. Describe how special this is for you to get a chance to be out there and do this again. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, obviously, when I was growing up, they weren't playing yeah. the game. I guess when was the last time they played? 2003. Three, so I was yeah. probably three or four yeah. years old. But, um, no, it is really cool. Just like I, um, like I said, like just the connections people have to the game, you know, getting – getting to play against guys from Mandan and like local North Dakota people, Minnesota people, you know, obviously both teams are made up of a lot of those guys. So uh, it just makes it more special. And then, you know, you get texts from guys like Chad Punsack and uh, Monty Kubis and the guys that played in this game back in the 80s and 90s, you know, it just kind of fires you up a little bit to get out there and go play an in-state rival. There's people on both sides of the rivalry. A lot of my high school friends went to UND and they're all UND guys, and but they'll have Jake Cavish shirts on on a Saturday. So that's pretty cool. But um, no, it's definitely cool. Just, you know, the, the rivalry goes back and forth, but 
you need to to have a rivalry. So you know, as much as you know, the other sides don't like each other, but you need them. It's kind of like what um, like Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. Like one is not one without the other. Was this one of the reasons to come back? I know. I mean, you wanted to come back because you hate getting hurt. But how much was this one knowing? All right, we get a chance to play up there. Yeah, for sure. I mean, when I went down, you know, thinking to going to you know Grand Forks and then Brookings this year. You know, those are two. And something about going into a hostile environment, like I love playing at home, but you know, when you can go in and be, you know, the bad guy and have, you know, 13,000 or 18,000 people kind of like swearing at you and yelling at you when you get off the bus, you know, that's pretty cool too. So definitely two of the games I circle on my calendar, you know, when I decide to come back. There's just not many atmospheres like that for you guys, is there? No, I mean, unfortunately, like you were in Missouri State last time. I mean, it's just, a, it's just not like their student section tried a little bit, but I mean, what do they see? 20,000, there's about 7,000 there. So I mean, it's definitely, you know, you get. You think about like big college football games, and obviously you watch like the Texas Oklahoma and like games like that. Like this is like our version of that, you know, going to a sold out crowd. Already, coach Jake Cava, an emotional leader, an yeah. important piece of this NDSU program, a sixth year guy, right. and certainly makes an impact in more ways than one. He does. He's a great leader. Um, you know, it was, you know, got banged up. Has been through a lot of injury, ACL. You know, had, had a pec injury last year that limits in him for the majority of the, the end of the season. And, you know, for him to be able to play a sixth year, I know is, uh, means the world to him. And we're excited to have him back. He's been, you know, outstanding leader ever since he walked on campus. This football program is extremely important to him and his family. For sure. It's time for our Great Clips, Great Question of the Game. Brought to you by Great Clips. This one coach from Dean and Wapaton. He says, who's the bigger rival, UND or SDSU? Well, probably depends on who you're playing. Um, you know, both both programs have had success. Both programs, their proximity to us, you know, create just a, a, a geographical rivalry. Um, I don't know if I want to say one's bigger than the other, uh, but, you know, two programs that, that, that I have great respect for, and I know that we have to be well prepared to, to be able to be competitive with them. Absolutely. We've got more to come here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz. Stick with us. We'll wrap things up when we come back. Better starts with convenience. Better starts with trust. You can trust that your pre-approval is guaranteed on closing day, which is one less thing to worry about. Better starts with saving you money. No ATM fees and no minimum balances mean how you spend your money is up to you. Because at Gate City Bank, better starts with you. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. Orthopedic pain is limiting. It's unpredictable. And when it disrupts the way you move, it disrupts the way you live. Life is better when you feel empowered to move the way you want, when you want. And that's where our experts come in. We're your guides to orthopedic and sports medicine treatment options that can manage your pain, rehab your injuries, and restore your confidence. Take back the freedom to move. Explore your orthopedic options at Sanford Health. For 70 years, you've invited us into your homes as the most trusted source for news in the region. That's why we continue to work so hard to keep you informed, providing more news today to more people than ever before. We're the longest operating locally owned news station in the region. And that's all thanks to you. Thank you for making us the most trusted. Your voice for 70 years. The news leader, WDAY News. Champions work hard and champions play hard, but none of it happens without the rest and recovery that comes from a good night's sleep. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is the official sleep partner of the NDSU Bison. And just like the herd, they're a proud company founded in North Dakota with North Dakota values and tradition. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems is a third generation company now at the showroom in Fargo, offering premium mattresses to help you take your sleep seriously. Accord Comfort Sleep Systems, located on 13th Avenue. You're going to love sleeping with us. Check it, check it, check it, check it out. Introducing the new and improved taste of Pepsi Zero Sugar. Now more delicious. Zero never tasted so good. Try it now. 
Back at it here on the Bison Football Show with Coach Entz. And Coach, turning the page from this one. It'll start on Monday as you guys get back to work and get ready to go back home in the Fargo Dome to take on Western Illinois. Yep, a lot of things we need to continue to improve on and take a good hard look at this film and, and make sure we're looking at every play and we're evaluating you know how teams are, are attacking us defensively and how they're defending us. But, um, you know, we got a lot of work ahead of us, and, and you know we need to create a situation where we can go one and zero next week. For sure, coach. Definitely an opportunity to turn a tough result into a positive moving forward. It could be a springboard for your team, correct? Yeah. We, we need to play better. Absolutely. Well, coach, we appreciate the time. Looking forward to next Bison game at 2:30 in the Fargo Dome as NDSU takes on Western Illinois next Saturday here in Fargo. Appreciate you joining us for Coach Entz and our entire crew. I'm Sam Niederman. This has been the Bison Football Show. Have a great rest of your night. Today's Bison Football Show with Coach Matt Entz has been presented by Gate City Bank for a better way of life and Pepsi. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.